So today we're going to start with the basic capoeira stand and also uh, the basic capoeira movement. The stand is called cadeira. Cadeira translates itself as chair. You're going to see why in a moment. Uh, and the basic movement of capoeira, which is called jinga. Jinga is a whole body movement which will demand a bit of muscle coordination. But you're going to improve this with the steps that I'm going to show you right now. So, as a first step, we're going to start with the stand position. If you have ever made a squat, this is going to be easy for you because normally the squats you make like this one, two, three, four. So it's pretty much the same. But the purpose of this, or the main part that I, you have to put attention to, is the lower body position. So, as I said previously, the cadera position is like sitting down on a chair. First, I'm gonna work with the lower body, slightly open your feet, right? You're standing like this, slightly open your feet, slightly wider than your shoulders, and go slowly down until you are comfortable enough. At the beginning it's gonna hurt a bit, but trust me, your quadricep muscles is gonna get much better on this. So in this position, from the side, it looks like this. Go down, foot out, take care of the back, never like this, always straight, chest, looking up, and now working with the upper body, always keep your hands in the front, like this, right hand to the front, left hand here, always keeping your guard closed. Okay, from the side here, from the front, and here. So from here, you can start improving your endurance and also training a bit your muscles, quadriceps. Like one, two, three, four, five. Go here, one, two, three, four, five. From the side, one, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna start playing with sets five, ten. At the beginning, this movement can be quite challenging, especially here in your quadricep muscles, because this is what you're training, and you're kind of putting the whole, your whole body weight just right here. So that's why I'm, I'm telling you that you have to do it incrementally, First 5, 10, 15, 20, and even with time, then you have, you can start doing it like uh, counting time, like 30 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, and so on. So the second movement that we're going to do for this video is the Jinga. The Jinga is the base movement. Every martial art has some stand position, has some basic movements. And the basic for the capoeira is the jinga. It is from here that you're going to start performing all your kicks, all your tricks, all your combos, everything. It looks, it looks like this. From the side. From the back. other side front that's the movement that's the jinga but how do we start this movement many people struggle with it because it demands a bit of muscle coordination as well as an endurance but we're gonna make it easy here and we're gonna break down our, our self body like in two parts. First we're gonna start working with the upper body and then the lower body. And at the end, when we have all of this, 
we will combine it together and then you're gonna be able to perform this movement easily. So let's start with the working with the upper body. First thing you have to do is um, put your both arm up just like this and then move the left arm to a side position very relaxing never too stiff and then the right arm just take it to the front like kind of protecting your face and the trick here is that the hardest part of your arm which is the elbow is going to be protecting the softest part of your face which is the nose always like this but without covering your side okay so in here you can change slowly change change always one arm to the side the other to the front change 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 and then slowly when you feel confident enough you can start going a bit faster one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's it for the upper body now let's work with the lower body and then at the end we will combine it and do the whole jinga movement okay so now let's start with working with the lower body and in here you're gonna start performing the previous position or the previous stand that we were doing which was the stand position or cadera chair we were doing this right and then in this right but first let's start working just with the lower body place your arms like this and right foot right leg to the back right? and then this is stand here okay you take it back the previous position and now change the leg left back to the stand position and right and back now when we go into details in this movement the thing is that once you move one leg at the back first thing you have to keep into account is not to put the legs like in a in a line because this it's not a stable here or to cross your legs at the back always keep a diagonal line here right just like this you move just like this diagonal never like this never like in a line because in here I repeat again it's not balanced we go back in here back in here back in here from the side it looks like this you're gonna start noticing that also my knees are all the time bent are in a bent position right I never put the knees like this because this is a very old capoeira and it's not effective okay so to keep your base and balanced bend your knees at all times both of them right here is bent here is bent and from the back you can check that I never cross cross here or align but it's always in a diagonal position one two from the side again three four five six from the front one two three four we are still just working the lower body and now that we know how to work the lower body let's combine it with the upper one right and now that we know the movement of the upper body like this and now that we know this now let's combine it all together shall we so in here first thing we go to the stand position cadera we put our arms in front from the side it looks like this right at all time keeping your arms up 
saving your guard here again from the other side it looks like this from the back side and finally here so we go to the stand position first we move the right leg to the back and the right arm to the front okay we go back without moving the arm yet and we just move the arm when the legs are moving as well left back left front back right back right front and one two three four five and here from the side it looks like this stand position first right and here right and here and one two three four five from the back one two three four five from the side again one two three four five front one two three four five when you're doing jinga keep always your arms up covering your face remember to bend your knees and try at all times to keep your height never go up and down when you're changing your legs like this like this yeah. one this is incorrect you have to be all time the same height okay one two three four five so we repeat it all again so you have it in mind so first we started with a stand position here go down from and from here we start the basic movement jinga one two three four five six which from the side looks like this two three four five one excellent exercise dynamic exercise that you can do to also uh, strengthen your quadricep muscles and do an excellent jinga is this one changing at all time yeah this is pretty basic I would say normally that the stand position and the jinga itself is enough to get your endurance to grow your muscles especially the quadriceps I would say they are enough to train for yourself but if you want to go a bit outside of it because this is still a bit too hard for you you can start with the last uh, movement that I told you dynamic movement and then start preparing yourself for entering a better jinga a doing a, uh, and doing a better stand that was it for the for this video and in the next video we're gonna be talking about esquivas and some defense movement